I'm in my kitchen at an island, a rectangular surface. It's not a two by one surface, but what I want to do is just continue our look at uh, perception. This is sort of a perceptual education, if you may, uh, in reference to center to edge aiming. Uh, of course, this is not a two by one surface, but what I want to do is just take a look at CTE perception on a rectangular surface in a different environment other than a pool table. You see, I'm not going to be influenced by pockets or rails here. So I want to see if there's a transfer of what's happening with perception here that's occurring on uh, a typical pool table. So I have two lines of balls set up here. They're 20 or so inches apart. I have old centennial balls that are facing uh, directly at the cue ball. The old centennial balls are marked at the quarters, which is helpful for this study. So I'm just going to set up in a 15 degree perception, left edge to A, center to edge, half tip, left to right pivot, and my tip is pointing directly at the right quarter mark on this ball. Now, if I do a sweep, it should equal and it does. Now I'm going to move over to this line. I'm going to set up on a 15 degree perception. There it is and that's exactly what I would do in a game with this perception. Now as I move straight in for my half tip left to right pivot with the same bridge distance and turn my tip to center and aim down my shaft the tip is now pointed to the outside edge of this ball, sort of splitting the outside edge. So this is the mystery in center to edge aiming. How in the world can this happen? Because it doesn't seem logical. And I'm with you on that. I've been with this for years. But, you know, it's like, it's like Hal said. This is a perception that was never supposed to be. And, you know, it, it is. It is what it is. This is a perception that can be learned. You're not going to learn it in one day or one week, even though many do learn it uh, in just a short order. I've had plenty of people to learn it in one day, a few weeks, a few months. But when you think about what you get in return for learning these perceptions, you get a professional approach to playing this game visually and physically. What are the pros doing? All I can observe is the fact that the pros are sweeping into their shots. They're not moving straight into their shot lines. Oh, I'm sure they do sometimes, but when they're sort of in that zone, and, and, and most of them are pretty comfortable when they're playing, they're sweeping into their shots. So that means they're playing from an offset. That means that their eyes are sweeping in with the center cue ball being their reference. So what about center to edge aiming? Well, center to edge aiming promotes the same type of play that's occurring with professionals as far as the approach to playing the game. There's my offset, 15 degree perception. There's my sweep, brand new shot line that connects with the geometry of a regulation table. If I move over to this, this is a 15 degree perception. Here's my sweep. My tip, once again, is pointed toward this outside edge. I want to make a point very quickly. If I turn this light off and I set up on the 15 degree perception, I accomplish the same results. So this, this uh, 15 degree perception is very easy to see. Your biggest hurdle in center to edge aiming is learning the perceptions. That's at the heart of what is really happening in center to edge aiming. So the intelligences that are at work to unravel this game for any given player is the visual and the physical intelligence. That's why you see pros that have played their thousands of hours and shot their 
ton of shots sweeping into the box. But that's not what language wants you to do. That's not what math wants you to do. They want you to move straight in. But that's not occurring. Centered edge can really get you approaching the game like that of a professional player. Professional players. Now, I'm going to interchange these balls with a larger set of balls. This might be something that you might want to work on in your home. And you may not have four pool balls, but you might have four tennis balls. Or you might have four baseballs. So, I'm using baseballs here and I'm going to set the seams up in such a way that they're uniform and, and, and facing one another. So now I'm going to set up I'm going to set up on my 15 degree perception. There's my 15 degree perception. Half tip pivot, turn to center. And my tip points just to the inside of this seam. So I've got a reference to compare it with. Here's my 15 degree, first, there's my 15 degree perception right there. Straight in, I half a tip to the inside, turn to center. Now my tip's pointed just to the outside of the seam. So once again, the evidence of what is occurring here supports what is happening on the surface of a pool table. I want you to imagine just for a moment that you're looking at a pool table that has a cue ball right dead center and there's four racks of balls surrounding that ball, surrounding that one cue ball. What I'm going to tell you is that one cue ball can make all of those 58 balls or 60 balls into one of the right angles of a regulation table when followed by that slight rotation to center. You don't have to imagine much more because I'm going to slightly turn this around to here and you can see a 5 by 10 table that has four racks of balls. Actually there's 58 minus the two that I used on the island. So there's a sea of balls with a cue ball in the middle. I, I spread those balls out fairly evenly and then I placed the cue ball in the middle and I personally checked each shot. Each shot goes quite easily as a, as a shot directly to the pocket or as a bank shot. Now, we know that sometimes bank shots uh, uh, can be challenging because of uh, the speed and the spin variables, but nonetheless, if you were to mark any cue ball, object ball relationship on that table, uh, I'd be happy to work with anyone and, and, and demonstrate that the system, will, the system using a 15 degree perception will in fact yield an aim that connects with one of the right angles. So. And yes, there's there's more to pool than just aim. We know that. You you you, you there's there's other variables that are extremely important. Uh, you know, stroke. For example, strategy. For example, composure. For example, speed and spin. But center to edge aiming can provide the foundation for any serious player to begin playing the game in a correct manner visually and physically. So what I've done here is basically just shared with you in a, in a varied manner uh, 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 something a little bit different as far as my presentation but essentially I'm just continuing to say uh, the same thing but in, in this presentation I've just said it in a in a different manner. I sincerely appreciate all the great feedback that I've received from, from, from uh, the videos that I have been presenting. I'm, I, I'm working very hard to uh, uh, present this in the, the, the best manner uh, and as accurately as I possibly can. Thank you very much.